These are the sample libraries I would buy if I started with orchestral music production all over again. This should be very helpful to all you composers out there and those who want to become one who are not yet armed with orchestral VSTs from head to toe. We'll build a setup with four different budgets. I'll go for a modern orchestral sound that's suitable for film scoring in all styles, video game music, cinematic cues. All of this will be possible with my picks. I spent many thousand dollars on orchestral sample libraries in the last decade, could test tons of review copies for YouTube, and these sample libraries are what I would buy if I was back at zero. I'll leave links to each of the libraries down in the description. These picks are just my opinion and I don't get paid for mentioning any of these libraries here. A word of caution, buying addiction is a thing. So make sure that you buy a new sample library to fill a gap in your toolkit, not inside yourself. Your tools grow with you. The flashiest, newest virtual instruments don't make you a better composer. Don't buy everything at once, start small, learn your tools, get good with experience and optimize your kit over time. We'll buy our sample libraries on sales. Sales are big in the sample library industry. At this time of this video, it's Black Friday season, most of the libraries I talk about are on sale right now, so I can give you a good reference of what you can get for your money if you play it smart. We'll use sales prices for the budgets because nobody buys their kit for the regular price and you shouldn't either. I'll squeeze the digital audio workstation to the budget as well so you can start composing right away. Starting with a 300 US dollar budget for orchestra composing, I would grab Reaper as a DAW. Reaper is insanely powerful and used even by professionals. It's pro level and free for 60 days with a 60 US dollar license after. Yes, you could technically use it beyond 60 days for free, but support the devs if you can. With a low budget, we'll grab freebies and smaller affordable instruments whenever we can. For that, you'll greatly benefit from the full version of Contact, so you can run every Contact sample library, no matter if they are for the free Contact player or for the full version only. Special tip. Contact is really expensive, but they have a cheaper cross-grade price. But what do I cross-grade from if I don't have anything? Listen. There are some free libraries that make you eligible for the contact cross-grade. For example, as of now, Heaviosity's Emotive Choir works. If you get that one for free on the Heaviosity website, register it in native access and log into native instruments, you should be able to get the cross-grade. There are a few other freebies in case this one stops working. The cross-grade then also gets on sale every now and then, and that's when you should strike. You can get it for 100 US dollars right now. That's one third of our budget already for contact, but really opens up an entire world of sound and it will be worth it. As the centerpiece of our orchestra, we'll go with Nucleus Light by Audio Imperia. It's a scaled down version of the flagship Nucleus with a rich cinematic sound. It has a simple yet effective engine where you can switch between a modern hyped mix and a more classical one with one button. You're limited to ensemble patches, so you can't control violin separate from cellos or clarinet separates from flute, but you'll have the strings, brass and woodwinds mapped all over the keyboard. You can later on upgrade to the full version of Nucleus and get the price of Nucleus Lite credited towards the update. With Nucleus Lite, we'll have our strings, woodwinds and brass ensembles, basic percussion and even some choir. So we're set up nicely for a high quality orchestral sound on a very low budget. Of course, with some compromises in flexibility. All right, let's continue building our orchestral setup. Array Light by Audio Imperia is our next edition. Similar to Nucleus, it's an entry-level version of their flagship strings library, Araya. It's a significant upgrade to our strings in Nucleus Lite because we have now legato patches that allow us to have our melodies sound smoother and more connected. We have control over individual instrument sections now, and it seamlessly fits into the same sound as Nucleus Lite. As an alternative, you could get Spitfire Originals, Epic Strings and Intimate Strings together for about 60 bucks. They're very nice little strings libraries and cover two different styles. For a mere $2, I would get Majestic Horn Legato by Orchestral Tool. It's a silky French horn with a soft legato and a no-brainer for the price of going to a public toilet in Germany. Sorry, urinary bladder, the horn wins this time. As we near the budget's end, dedicated woodwinds or percussion may be a stretch. Fortunately, Nucleus Light already includes these, so we're good. Choir 2 is covered. If you want to expand the choir section, Chorus Light is an option, but given our tight wallet, I'd skip it for now. Instead, I'm adding one more gem to the card. Taste by Audio Ollie. Taste is a very neat slice through Audio Ollie's entire product line with patches from LA Modern Percussion, Nashville Scoring Strings, Scoring Synths and more. It's a pretty big collection of cinematic sounds for a very low price. Super inspiring for the hybrid category. Now let's add the finishing touches to our setup with some freebies. Spitfire Labs is a great starting point with a variety of orchestral instruments, experimental sounds, folk and world instruments, and synthesizers. Orchestral Tools' Sign Factory is very useful with its nice selection of church organ, percussion, strings, and other stuff. There's Piano Book, where users can upload their own sample libraries. There's some real gems in there. 
And I would recommend Heaviosity Foundations, a series of very high quality freebies for orchestral instruments with a touch of modern sound design. They sound great and their polish interface makes them feel really premium. Check out the freebies on the performance samples websites like the Solo Violin freebie and the Pacific Ensemble Strings Spiccato freebie. They're too good to skip them and they will make you glad you got that contact full cross grade. We're at 285 US dollars now in total if you'd buy during sales. And with that, we have a full orchestra with ensemble patches. We're ready to use any freebie we can find without being limited by our sampler. Array Light gives us a good string sound and Audio Ollie hits us with inspiration and cinematic flavors with taste. All this is then complemented by high quality freebies. With this setup, you can dip your toes into orchestral music production and start composing right away. For a 500 US dollar budget, we're still very limited in our choices. We won't be able to add dedicated section libraries like a flagship strings library without losing the rest of the orchestra. What I would do with 500 US dollars is get the evaluation version of Reaper, cross grade to contact full, and then buy Nucleus. The full version this time. It's on sale for 250 US dollars right now. You can get it usually for 300 on regular sales outside the Black Friday season. And with Nucleus alone, you can write industry standard music that makes you money. It has full section control, so we can arrange our violins, violas, oboes, bassoons, French horns, and whatnot. Everything individually. It's a complete orchestra with a percussion section, solo instruments, a choir, and even some cinematic sound design effects. Nucleus is the best all-in-one orchestra you can get for our purpose. It has a tight modern sound and a great workflow. Consider BBC Symphony Orchestra Core by Spitfire Audio as an alternative if you like more of a classical sound. It's very good too. With the remaining 150 US dollars, we won't need to invest in additional strings, brass or woodwinds libraries because Nucleus already provides everything we need to write impressive orchestral tracks. Instead, I would spend them on an entry choir library and some electronic hybrid stuff. For choir, Nucleus's choir is okay to start, but we can squeeze out 100 US dollars to buy either choir essentials by stress of sampling or Chorus Light by Audio Imperia. Both are great entry choir libraries. Choir Essentials has polyphonic true legato and a children's choir as a nice bonus. Chorus Light has that gorgeous Scott Smith mix. I would buy Elements Modern Scoring Synth by Zero G for hybrid effects and cinematic scoring on this budget. I covered it in a video here. At 69 US dollars on sale right now, it's insanely underpriced for the huge content it offers. Seriously, it's a very nice blend of organic samples and modern sound design that guarantees to inspire us, plus there are free expansions for it. Again, our freebies by Spitfire Labs, Sign Factory, Piano Book, and the Heaviosity Foundations, as well as performance samples, add some oomph to this configuration. With 500 US dollars, we just bought a full flagship orchestra with Audio Imperial Nucleus, or alternatively BBCSO Core, which will do the heavy lifting for our orchestral music. Just listen to this. This is Nucleus only. Choir Essentials, or alternatively Chorus Light, give us more flexibility for our choir. And Elements Modern Scoring Synth takes care for the modern hybrid front. Here's what I would buy if I had 1000 US dollars to invest in orchestral sample libraries from scratch today. Subscribe if this is helpful. There will be more. I would still choose Reaper for its affordability, cross grade to contact full, and opt for a flagship all in one orchestra, like Nucleus or BBCSO Core. Sticking with Nucleus as a centerpiece of our orchestra, we now have the budget to address its limitations. With a thousand dollar budget, we want to buy a dedicated strings library. A full strings library costs the same or more than an all-in-one orchestra because they're sampled in more detail. They have more playing techniques, articulations it's called, and more control over the sound. The quality of the natural transitions between notes, the legatos, is higher. You can cycle through the dynamics from quiet to loud more naturally and overall play your melodic phrases with more realism. For the $1,000 build, I would choose between cinematic studio strings and a Raya. CSS is probably the most consistent strings library out there, has probably the best legato, and it's one of the most popular sample libraries like ever.
It has a fairly neutral sound, isn't hugely symphonic nor super small sounding, it's great for romantic stuff and with some processing you can even handle loud epic music and everything in between. It's a wonderful workhorse and you can get it for 299 US dollars on sale or with an educational discount. If I knew that I would be mainly writing a lot of epic or hybrid orchestral music, I would go for Araya instead. It takes the string section from Nucleus and adds more and more legato types and articulations while its modern mix is still capable to pierce through huge walls of sound. Personally, I prefer the flexibility of cinematic studio strings, but I prefer Araya's workflow. It's a tough choice. I will go with CSS. The other big upgrade between the $1,000 budget and the $500 budget is our percussion. Nucleus has orchestral percussion. Lots of it. Timpanis, bass drums, snares, toms, some clickety clackety stuff. But it's limited in bigger drums, action stuff for intense scoring, epic music or trailer tracks. It also lacks ethnic instruments from around the world. We'll fill this gap with Damage 2 by Heaviosity. It's on sale for $250 right now and probably the best percussion all-rounder out there. Damage 2 has a bit of everything. Big drums, small drums, smashing a car on a junkyard and making crazy effects out of it. It has solo drums and ensembles, a variety of world drums, small and big, taikos, frame drums, jambas, it has loops, hits and transition. Everything sounds absolutely fantastic. Damage 2 is a no-brainer for percussion and I am adding it to our $1,000 build. Next, I'll give the Nucleus Choir a little boost with Choir Essential. And we're at 999 US dollars now. Whew. If we choose Chorus Light instead of Choir Essentials, we would still have 20 bucks to spend on Audio Ollie's taste for some more fun and inspirational sound. For the sound design, we'll rely on what's included in Nucleus, Damage and, if we went for it, Araya. They all have a few sound design patches included. If you're more into hybrid orchestral music, I would exchange the Choir for Element Scoring Synth, I think. You could also exchange the Choir for Ethera Gold Atlantis 3 if cinematic solo vocals are more important to you than a Choir. Go for Prometheus if you want male vocals. Obviously, we'll download all those high-quality freebies, but that should be a no-brainer by now. For $1,000, we now have a very strong orchestra with Nucleus at the core, cinematic studio strings to make our strings S-tier, some of the best percussion available with Damage 2, a great entry choir or state-of-the-art solo vocals respectively, and a few sick sound effects. Finally, if I had 3,000 US dollars and started orchestral music from scratch, I would be very fortunate. Please see this as an upgrade path, not a one-stop shopping list. Seriously, you can't master 10 sample libraries at once and you don't want to. By the way, have you subscribed to the channel yet? Anyway, I would go with Studio One Professional as a DAW, which should be on sale for about $250. You can also go with Cubase, which is a bit more expensive, or Logic Pro if you're on Mac for 200 bucks. No matter which DAW interests you, try it out first. They all have a demo. If you write orchestral music, buy the professional version of your DAW, not the cheaper artist versions or so. They have limitations that will really hurt us later. We don't want to run out of tracks when writing our latest final boss theme. We'll treat ourselves with a discounted cross crate on Contact Full and have about 2,000 650 US dollars left for the fun part, the orchestra. With this amount of money to spend, I would probably ditch my all-in-one orchestra and go straight into the dedicated libraries. Don't get me wrong, Nucleus is still incredibly valuable, but I would buy it later when I need it. For example, as a sketching tool or when I need something less resource hungry when I'm on travels. I would buy the entire Cinematic Studio series. Cinematic Studio strings, solo strings, brass and woodwinds because they work together quite well. This should cost you about 1100 US dollars taking into account their loyalty discount. With these four libraries, you have one of the most powerful combination possible to form the main sections of a virtual orchestra. And it has a few advantages and benefits, which makes this my choice. First, these libraries are programmed with such painstaking consistency that you can copy paste MIDI from one to the other. If you have a viola from CSS, a horn from CSB, a coranglais from CSW, you can copy paste the MIDI or even just record them at the same time and they will behave the same. The legato speeds are the same. The dynamics, it's so consistent and it feels like one unit. Cinematic Studio Solo Strings then adds a layer of definition, allowing you to introduce a solo player above the CSS ensemble. This Cinematic Studio Series bundle can handle a wide range of musical styles. 
anything from emotional, romantic, classical, cinematic, and even epic music. For epic music, I would add Talus by Audio Imperia to the cut. Its price dropped pretty significantly in recent sales and it has two very handy patches if we want to go loud. It has a 12 horns patch. Cinematic Studio Brass only has four horns, so the Telos horns sound much fatter and bigger and a mighty powerful low brass patch. For percussion again, Damage 2 covers us very well. We have no choir right now because we ditched Nucleus. With this budget, I'll get a full choir library. For me, the best one out there right now is Audio Imperia Chorus. Chorus is beautiful beyond words with its slow syllable patches. I mean, listen to this. It's versatile with its different legato articulations and syllables, and it can go all the way from quiet and intimate to loud and epic. Two things about chorus you should keep in mind. It doesn't have the traditional soprano, alto, tenor, bass setup, but has men and women patches, and there's no children choir. I reviewed chorus in this video. It also has a pretty cool demo at the end. For the next sample libraries, I want to share a little secret with you. Something that makes people say, holy cow, how does that sound so huge and real? With this budget, instead of buying a second strings or brass library to nail a certain style, you could, for example, pick up Pacific Ensemble strings for a more symphonic string sound, I would actually do something else first. I would buy Metropolis Arc 1 and 3 by Orchestral Tools. this about and why one and three only? Metropolis Arc is a series of five all-in-one orchestras, each with a different purpose, but each with Orchestral Tools' signature sound of the Teldex scoring stage in Berlin. Teldex sounds just so good, big and holly, lively and organic. It's great. And I want to mix this tone that Metropolis Arc can give me together with the programming and flexibility of my other orchestral instruments, like the Cinematic Studio series. Metropolis Arc adds so much depth that my compositions can sound bigger than they really are. Arguan skips most of the woodwinds and instead focuses on powerful, grand sounds. The low strings blow my socks off and the brass is powerful too. Arc 3 is called the Beating Orchestra. It adds punch and has an entire orchestral section play hit articulations, dissonant sound clusters, rhythmic repetitions, especially these recorded dissonant clusters are something that's very hard to make with the Cinematic Studio series because you have to write every dissonant note manually. I love layering Metropolis Arc with my other orchestral section libraries and blow the roof off. The other arcs are great too, but if I had to pick two, it would be one and three. I compared them in this video with a demo for each of them. I'd pick up a Theragold Atlantis 3 for some of the best cinematic female vocals or a Theragold Prometheus for males. Now we already have some sound design from Talos and Damage included, but on this budget, I would go for a flagship effects library to blend with my orchestra. Devastator Breakout Pro by Keep Forest is great for gritty, aggressive sound design that pierces through and adds power to a track. For scoring to picture and doing a lot of trailer music, I would instead go for Gravity 2 by Heaviosity, but that's a bit more expensive because it just came out. Let's not forget the freebies. And now we have an absolute monster of an orchestra with Cinematic Studio series at the heart of it. Their strings, solo strings, brass and woodwinds give us maximum flexibility and a great all-round sound for many styles. And we'll make it loud by layering the organic epicness of Metropolis Arc 1 and 3 Add Talos for big brass in a modern mix. Damage 2 is our workhorse for percussion. We have a versatile flagship choir with chorus. We got cinematic solo vocals and a weaponry of hard-hitting sound design. Now stop. Before you go out and spend all your money on sample libraries, breathe. Chill for a minute. And remember that sample libraries don't make you a better composer. The Become Pro Composer Discord community can help you with that. If this video was helpful, you know what to do. See you soon.